that song? <laughs> no, I'm gonna be mad at myself, aren't I? What is that? That's John Denver. Which song? Country Road. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I can hear it now. Yeah, I couldn't hear it. No, no, you do it all crappy like I did it. Yeah. When you do things crappy like I did it, Richard. Well, when you have uh, terrible ears. Man, look, I cannot. I, like I mine. understand. I'm talking about my ears. I know that. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to Great Measures. My name is Richard. This is Judson. Great Measures. All right, gonna... Uh, oh no, let's talk about something else for a minute. Okay, what are we talking about? Now I'm just trying to stall a little bit because when you start to say something and you laugh, uh, all right. I wanna like hold my... I got a video for you, and a new, it's a video from a new, a, a band that you haven't heard, not a new band, they're new-ish. Uh, they've been around about 10 years, I guess. The band is called Band Made, and the song is called The Nonfiction Days. The Nonfiction Days. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you watch the video. You're not going to give me any information. That's all I'm giving you right now. No, no, I don't want to do it. Too bad. We're, we're done. All right, we got The Nonfiction Days by Band Made. M-A-I-D. On you. Proceed, Judson. Yeah, but... Is it, is mm -hmm. it? Proceed, Judson. Here I go.
you need some information on Bandmade. So that song was released in 2016. It was on an album called Brand New Made. What's with the made motif? The band formed in July of 2013. Uh, guitarist and singer Miku Kobato. Miku? I don't know. Formerly an employee of a Japanese made cafe envisioned forming a band that juxtaposed the made image with rock music. Okay. She recruited lead guitarist Konami Tono. I'm probably... Kalani can play. Yeah. Konami. Konami, yeah. That's what I said. I don't know what I said. Miku and Konami. I'm making sure I said it correctly. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, After an internet search, she found the lead guitarist. Uh... Tono had performed a, as a singer-songwriter and suggested her occasional backing drummer, Akane Hirose. Akane? Hirose, in turn, suggested bassist Misa. Misa. With whom she had performed in various backing bands. On July the 24th of 2013, they had their first live performance as a quartet with Kobato on vocals at the PP Band audition held at Atsuka, Atsuka Deepa. The band then decided to recruit an additional lead singer and selected Saiki Atsumi during auditions. Their first performance as a five-piece was at the P Festival at Shibuya X. On keep on going. I just want you to keep going. August of 2013, the band signed to Gump Records an imprint of the Platinum Passport Artist Management and Talent Agency that year. Um, and they just kind of took off from there. Mm-hmm. So there's five people in that band. Five people in the band. Hmm. That's all four most of the time. It may have been four. I don't know. I don't know if somebody quit. I, I don't, this is a band I am not familiar. So to explain why we're doing this one, yes, shout out to BM for life, which I assume is band, band made for life. Okay. Uh, they used, we have a, I've got it in our, our page description, and I'll add it in the description of this video. But we have a, a buy me a coffee link. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's just. And like, I see people say, are you still going to buy me the coffee thing? I'm like, I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> it's just. What are you talking about? If somebody wants to like. I don't know what you're talking about. They can they can buy us a coffee for $5 or. I don't drink coffee. I know, but it's you're just. You're just drinking a bunch of coffee? Shut up. Shut up. Internet coffee? They're not That's literally not buy- good for you. But people have been making requests on there. I'm trying to get to those more. Um, Our time is limited. So if you do make a request and and you want to buy us a coffee, just be patient with me. I'm trying. Our time isn't like that, that limited. But it's, it's, I mean, you know. Hopefully there's some things changing at the first of the year. not trying to get my hopes up, but. You keep saying that. You might as well just get your hopes up. Possibility of a new recording space and all those things that we can have access to. It's closer to his house. It doesn't mean it makes it easier on me to get there. <laughs> it's just right down the road from your place. Sheesh. Band made. Band made. And so what you're telling me is BM for life. Requested it. And I apologize that it took so long. I'm just now getting around to it, but we got it done. And you seem to enjoy it. I thought it was, I thought it was cool. I'm not a fan of the vocal style, but well, what, what, what would you expect it to be? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, there's nothing else that it could be. I agree with you. There's nothing else that it could be, but it's just not my cup of tea. But musically, it's got this, like, do you know who Thrice is? No. Uh, it's got like this 2000s post-hardcore Thrice. Taking Back Sunday, maybe a little bit. I don't know what you're talking about, but I mean, that, that, there's there's a. That's just what I hear when I. I'm probably not there's making a, a there's connection. There's a low end in there. Yeah. That that something's going on that that not just those four instruments plugged in a yeah. Marshall amp is doing. Yeah. I don't think unless there's something on the bass, unless the bass has got some kind of effect or something, but it sounds like some of that. <laughs> Yeah, 808 stuff. Yeah. But uh 
You mean you don't like how she sings in the sense of you wish she was up there? No, I don't. No, it's just it's cartoonish almost. I think for me. Well, but that's Japanese. Like that's it I makes me think any, of anime. It makes, I don't know anything you know, about the whole that whole. I can't pretend to know anything. Yeah, I don't either. I don't. I, I will say that wholeheartedly. This is but foreign I've, to me. I've got literally and figuratively. I've gotten into. <laughs> I've gotten into uh, a lot of films from Korea, South Korea. Not a lot of films coming out of North Korea lately. Sure. South Korea, <laughs> China, Japan, and uh, just some of those more far eastern countries. And trying to sort of understand a little more of the way of being in the sense of, of cause some things look funny to me that I don't think are funny. That they don't think is funny. They're not thinking it's funny. I think they're just excited. Did you see that thing online with the rock, paper, scissors world championships over there somewhere? Mm -mm. There's two girls and they... I think they count three and then they throw it or something. And it's a big deal. Girl goes to her knees and is can't believe that she just won. Wow. Huge deal. And they got these, they they do look like uh cartoon characters. Not not the the people, you know, like right. the whole it seems like they're very and, and what they do to their person. Caricature What they do to their person and what they wear. They're, they're making an effort to be sort of a piece of art walking around, a right. grander piece of art. Yeah. I like that stuff. Mm -hmm. This music, th this music kind of had that, oh, that da -da 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 -da, sort of had like an Alice in Chains thing on it for a second, or maybe it's thrice. I don't know. I never heard thrice before. It's just, uh, but it's just a riffy, riffy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I like the music, and I, I can warm up to what she's singing how she's singing it. I mean, there's just this, there's something cool and creepy, but even just sweet. And I mean, there's a lot of stuff with these pretty little girls. I say little, I don't, they could be older than us. Oh, they may be pushing it. But, <laughs> but with, they're not being grotesque. Sure. But there's still this kind of creepiness of it. If they're, that's why I want to know what they're singing about. Because if she's singing about something horrible, and just kind of singing it real sweet at you, like I'm gonna come kill you, you know? Yeah. Don't turn your lights off or go to sleep. Sleep with one eye open. Right. So, but I also dig the whole. You know, you remember the. Uh, the In Bloom video by Nirvana or the uh, Buddy Holly video by Weezer mm -hmm. where they're just, they're, they're playing these heavy guitars and they're just kind of singing yeah. like this. I like that stuff where the the image of what they're doing doesn't really match the what you're hearing sometimes. But I think all that kind of music, if you listen to Weezer or Nirvana as, a, as an example, it's just 50s pop tunes yeah. that they just made heavier, you know? And I kind of see that with, with these girls in a sense, that they're just doing, they're just carrying over another piece of older music and, and I don't understand the maid thing all the way. So, let me I, see. I mean, a, a maid cafe? Yeah, so a Japanese maid cafe. Which means that she it was a cafe, but they were dressed. It's a subcategory of cosplay, cosplay restaurants found predominantly in Japan and Taiwan. In these cafes, waitresses dressed in maid costumes act as servants and treat customers as masters and mistresses as if they were in a private home rather than as, a ca as cafe patrons. The first permanent maid cafe, Cure Maid Cafe, was established in Tokyo in 2001. But maid cafes are recently becoming increasingly popular, 
The increased competition drove the cafes to employ more diversified themes, gimmicks, and even usual tactics, even unusual tactics to attract customers. They also have expanded overseas to several countries around the world. Unusual tactics. I'm interested in that. Let's go to Japan. What kind of unusual? You can't get into Japan, bro. You can't? No. I can't or we can't? Well, we most definitely can't. You probably could. Why? I may not even make it past the. Why would we not be able to get to Japan? Huh? Uh, they're they're not they fans their, of the Americans. I, I, they're not really fans of anybody that's just not awesome. Okay. Like I they, think we're they, awesome. They, well, I think we're awesome, <laughs> but they look at your background and and. I got you. They're I mean, pretty thorough about who comes yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I was looking at teaching. I appreciate over there at one, that. At one point, and they were there was no chance, dude. Mm. I couldn't even get into China because I had been charged with a DUI before. Oh, they didn't wow. get convicted of it. Just charged. And wow. I had all my stuff sent in. They were like, "Yeah, come on, in, whatever." They're like, "Wait a minute." So you get charged with the DUI? Did like, you drink and drive that one time? That's just one. <laughs> like. <laughs> I was sitting there going, well, this one, and then this one, and then this one. But I didn't get convicted of any of them. Uh, Just charged. Yeah. But because you were charged, China was not having it. No. And Japan was like, don't even. Yeah. Don't even try. Like, I went to put it in the mailbox or something, and they were like, ah, come on, dude. Don't even make us look at it and have to call you and tell you no. Coca-Cola's white over there. Hmm. Did you know that? I did not know that. Japanese culture intrigues me for sure. Yeah. I would love to, Japan. Come on, let us in. Just let us visit. Just say, come on. Just say, just say yes. Just say, come over. Is this something you would be interested in hearing more of? Yeah. Okay. I I I think that from a musician standpoint, music, musicianship standpoint. Uh huh. Um. <sighs> trying, I'm trying to trying to phase out saying those people but playing classical piano you run into a lot of people from china japan korea whatever and they're badasses yeah because they work their butt off mm -hmm. and they just have a way of i guess it's the culture that they just have a way of paying the attention that's needed to something in order to get the most out of it so the musicianship part of it i would i'm interested in for sure because they're just good yeah um, Agreed. I completely agree and there. The, the, the subject matter of the lyrics is interesting. The nonfiction days and, you know, as far as the translation that we read can actually be accurately... Yeah, it's pretty broken. Uh, ...illuminated. It's, uh, you know, it says something about... It says something about having to... Good and evil is defined by someone else and... Just basically questioning everything as to what is real. Sure. I like I like that stuff. Yeah. Let, let's go existentialist on it all the time. Let's get let's go to the void. Yeah. And but then, you know, again, you listen to it and and I just wish that we there was a better understanding of the words, but uh to kind of know when she was seen, what she was seen. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a, I don't know, it's just a, there's just an uneasy thing for me that I like. You know, if somebody, if you see, let's just say you have a 1950s mother or something and she's just the sweetest thing in the world, but she also has a butcher knife and she's just going to cut your head off. Mm. You know, they're singing something dark, but they're, Dancing and singing in the yeah. maid for you yeah. because they're serving you, I guess, in the, in the sense of how that whole maid thing is working out. Which, whatever. Um, I don't want anybody acting like they're serving me. You know what I mean? Sure. It's just not my. Yeah. Not my jam. But uh, but but they're up there standing there like maids. I wonder if they dust off their microphones or anything. They come out and they bend over and dust off the drums. It'd be, it'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, they, they, it wouldn't. Y'all do that. Y'all, y'all do that. Anything else? 
I don't know. What do you got? I. Do you like this music? This band? I like the music. Again, I'm not the the, the vocal style. Again, I know it fits, and it's it's just not for me. Um, musically, they're incredible. I mean, they're they're awesome. Well, see, we and I are. think it's I can't get past the exact thing that you're talking about the the kind of robotic movements and the smiles and the, I, I don't know it just it it just it creeps me out I it's guess it's like a music box though when you open a music box and you see the little valve yeah. thing turning and the other thing going like this it's just something I mean they're people. Yeah, they're people. They're people. So they're they are flesh and blood people. Living, well, breathing. Presumably. They could be from serious. They could be lizard people. We don't know. We don't know anymore, Richard. We don't the news know. news that's coming out. We could, we, you could be an alien and you just don't know it. I'd like to be. So we'll see about all that coming up, you know, one day in the future. You think it's coming soon? Man, all that stuff is Bullshit, dude. I agree. I There's agree. no such thing as they're they're lasers converging, and they're just making you think that there's that that's a, that's an actual physical ship. You know that they can project things in the sky over what we're talking about in Japan. They can put a whole dragon come up and act like it's going to the water, and it looks like it is. These things are just lasers. They're they're doing this for the whole idea to to get everybody's attention on that, and make them think whatever, dude. I, I know the truth. I know the truth. Y'all go ahead, pay attention. Thank you for seeing this. Thank you, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Anything else? <laughs> I'm almost afraid to ask. <laughs> no. You asked me if I thought I was going to cut. What, what did you, what? Did you think that, that aliens are on their way to the front page of the paper? Well, aliens shaking Richard's hand. Finally. I would be the one that they would want us to meet. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. All right. My bad. Go for it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We are Great Measures. My name is Richard. This is Judson. Great Measures. That was The Nonfiction Days by Bandmade. Have a wonderful day, everybody. <laughs>